Hello everyone! So PSL lattes are finally out at Starbucks and that can only mean one thing. My favorite season is finally here. Get ready for some fall trends. Hello everyone and welcome! If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're going to find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're going to find right here on this channel. So if that's something you're into, which I mean you're here so I'm assuming it is, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments, find me on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer, you know the drill, like hello. Anyway, so today what are we talking about? Designer fall trends that I'm gonna tell you, keep an eye out for these. These are gonna be some, some trends you might wanna follow and get into because they're low key fire. I mean, I've picked them myself, hello. Come on. What are we gonna keep an eye out for fall 2022? Great question, love that about you. There's four key things that I want you guys to keep your eyes out for. Super big totes, Barbie core, which is I'm kind of excited about, not gonna lie. Textures and hardware. Those are gonna be the four main key things if you're looking to invest in a new fall handbag for 2022. Kind of low key excited to get into this list. So I've picked four amazing bags for you guys, all from designer houses. If you want something contemporary, let me know and maybe I can put out like a second video. Just let me know down in the comments. And, um, we're off, let's get into it. So the very first trend that I said, keep an eye out for is gonna be large totes. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, totes are always out there. It's always around, it's always a thing. You're right, this fall will be no exception and there's one tote in particular that you need to keep your eye out for especially if you want to get ahead of the fashion game and that is none other than the YSL eye care maxi shopping bag and quilted lambskin gorgeous I haven't seen this bag in person yet but like the photos oof they, they outdid themselves on this bag. At first, I'm like, oh my God, dumb, another big tote. Like, we've seen it, I'm over it. You've got the book tote, you've got the Neverfull, this, that, and the other, the Reeve Gauche tote. Like, do we need another big tote? YSL decided yes, we did, and I agree. So the YSL Maxi Shopping Bag Quilted Lambskin is stunning. It's currently retailing for 4,400, and right now it is actually available to order. When it first came out, it was pre-order only, really hard to get your hands on, but now apparently it's readily available, and you can have it in three to six business days, which is kind of exciting, low key. So what's so great about this bag, you ask? Well, first and foremost, the oversized YSL hardware on the front. Like I said, this fall 2022 is all gonna be about the hardware, like handles, chains, you name it, hardware interesting architectural hardware. And it really jazzes up what would otherwise be a lot of wasted real estate. Like this is a big bag. It's gonna need something to go on the front of it, right? And I love that it's cinched together with just like a chain on the inside. Super chic, very low key. And it comes with a removable pouch. For size reference, this bag is massive. So it's gonna be over almost 15 and a half inches wide, almost 17 inches tall, nine inch strap drop. It says 3.1 inches in, in depth, but I mean, come on, it's a massive tote. It's gonna be as big as you need it to be. It, you could quite Quite literally, probably, put a small child in this tote and be absolutely fine and still have room for like a water bottle, your wallet, and, and everything else you'll need for the day. This bag is stunning. Like I said, I've said it a thousand times. I'll say it again. At first, I was not on board. I was like, ugh, another big tote? Really? Did we did we ask for this? Why well, I sell new better. They gave it to us anyway, and I see it. I'm a convert now. I, I am low-key on board with this bag. Will I buy one personally? No. As you all know, I'm on a Birkin journey. Um, if you haven't watched any of my Birkin Journey videos, I'll maybe make a playlist and have them all together so that way they're all in one spot. You guys can catch up if you're new to my channel. Hi, my name's Caleb, I'm on a Birkin Journey. I know vomit, we're so sick of hearing that term, Birkin Journey, but I'm on one and I'm gonna use the term. You're welcome. Okay, so next up, probably one of my favorite aesthetics. Like you wouldn't guess today, like I'm I'm, I'm like going low key today. Casual vibes only for this Wednesday. But Barbie core, I absolutely love Barbie core. So Barbie core, the aesthetic, it's at its core, it's just like everything pink and more is more. And as a maximalist at heart, I vibe with anything that like calls for more. I, I More is more, I love it. This is just like a fun, playful aesthetic. Now you could like go like full out Barbie pink and be like super in your face. But the bag that I picked for you today, it's a little bit more low key. Like she can still hang with Barbie, but she's not gonna be at the forefront of, you know, Barbie aesthetic. But this is the small 4G bag in heart printed graffiti effect leather from none other than Givenchy. I love Givenchy and I think low key fashion world, we've been kind of sleeping on Givenchy for a few years now. Like, yes, we get it. Like the Antigona, we've seen her, Pandora, on her way out, bye. Givenchy needs their next it bag. And will this be their next it bag? No. Is it super cute though? And, and it comes in at a really affordable price point? Yes and yes. So this bag, absolutely charming. She's small. 
She's not gonna fit what the YSL could fit. She's only six and a half inches by two and a third inches deep and 4.7 inches tall, made in Italy. The composition, you're gonna have calfskin leather. The lining is gonna be 51% polyurethane. Don't love that. And the metal pieces are 100% brass. Now, the silver hardware, stunning. And I thought that this would be a really cute addition to the Barbie core aesthetic, just because you have that super fun heart printed strap. I think this could work for, for both men, women, and everyone else. It's a very good size. I mean, it's cute. Cute. This is a good everyday, like running through the city bag. Like the YSL Eye Care Maxi Toe, super charming, super cute, but like that's a big, that's a lot of bag. This is just enough, like you can wear it high up on the chest, you can go crossbody, throw it on the shoulder, and it has a utilitarian strap, so you could attach more things like maybe pouches. Again, we're going to be seeing a lot of the utilitarian trends carry over into fall 2022 with like little pouches and think like LV multi pochette, but more chic. I said what I said. Don't hate me. Carrying forward, fall of 2022, we're also going to see textures. I think that, you know, anytime that, you know, like the weather kind of gets a little bit colder, we want to break out our faux fur, you know, throws and pillows. And, and why can't this translate into our handbag? Like, obviously, duh, it can. And a lot of companies are doing some really cool things. And the one bag that I like the most just for its architectural, like, strap handle is the Jacques Mousse La Bambidou. I'm only going to say that once. Lamb Shearling Shoulder Bag. Again, this is at another really good price point. Okay, it's over $1,000, but I think at this point we can all agree that anything not over $2,000 for a new designer handbag is a pretty darn good deal. The times we live in, don't you love it? Anyway, so the bag that I chose for you, it is on back order. However, it is expected to ship no later than October 24th, so if you want to get your order in, do it now, especially if you're going to go with the color ivory. Shearling, it's traditionally, you know, like you have like the, the, the suede aspect to it with like the the shearling trim, like that that lighter, kind of fluffy shearling furry trim. I think that this is gonna be a good classic. Now, if you wanted to carry it over into the Barbie core, like do Barbie core meets texture, go for the pink. Charming, super cute actually. You could also order it in like a light blue, which is super pretty, would be good for like winter. Like imagine this with like a white puffy coat. It's a vibe, it's a look. Caleb approved, I love it. The green, normally I love green. Okay, I was gonna say I didn't like it, but then I looked at it and I saw Oscar the Grouch and that was just too freaking cute. I think honestly they should put some eyes on the flap. How adorable would that be? I would buy one in a heartbeat if it had eyes on the flap. That'd be super cute, a little Oscar the Grouch bag. But I just love with this bag that they were able to carry that shearling look through the chain handle. Like how, like bravo. Beautifully done. It's a gorgeous bag. I think this is gonna do really well through the fall. You do get a small exterior pocket. You gonna put anything more than a receipt in there? Ha, <laughs> probably not. And it does say that the interior lining is just done in a nice cotton. Um, from the photos, it looks like there is some leather accents. And you have a cute little pocket on the inside, perfect for like a small mirror. Or if you just wanted to like slip your credit cards in there, like the two or three you need while you're in the city, leave your wallet at home, perfect for that too. Keep in mind, it's on back order. Order it now, get it as soon as you can. Super cute bag, 1645. I mean, hello, thank you Jacques Mousse, good deal. The final, and probably my most favorite bag from this entire list. If I could pull off a strange little hobo crescent bag, I, I would buy this in a heartbeat, after my Birkin, of course, because it's quite expensive. This is the Bottega Veneta Sardine Top Handle Bag. Now, this is on pre-order as well. The color I've selected for you is gonna be Barolo. I think it's like a really nice, warm red, just perfect for fall. Like, this is gonna look good with brown, black, navies. Like, this is just a good all-over color. And the reason I selected this one for the hardware category is that beautiful brass sardine across the top. I mean, how charming is that? I absolutely love what Bottega Veneta has been doing lately, and I think that under the new artistic director, where we're seeing some really neat things coming to, to the forefront of Bottega Veneta while also remaining true to what we've seen the last few years, this is perfection. So this is just their small intrasciato leather. Intrasciato? Intrasciato? leather. Now the sardine is made by artisans and each piece is going to be a little bit different. You're going to have different markings, engravings, and that's what's going to make each bag truly unique. It's a muse brass finish. The bag itself is not lined. However, it's stunning. It's the right size. It is um, 7.9 inches tall, so just under 8 inches tall, 13 inches across, 1.6 inches in depth, and then the handle drop is 4.7 inches. Is she going on your shoulder? Probably not. Don't be disappointed. But it looks super cute handheld or on the crook of the elbow. I think this is like a fun take on like an updated Jody with a little bit more interest to it. Like I love the Jody, don't get me wrong, but I'm ready for something a little bit new. A little bit different and the sardine bag is is giving me she's giving me life i'm living for it now like i said this bag is on pre-order so get your orders in now because i have a feeling once it comes out it's gonna be pretty hot we're gonna be seeing it on a lot of celebrities we're gonna be seeing it 
everywhere. So jump to the head of the line. We all know that BV is very hot these days. It's on fire, lots of good bags, and, and we've seen it time and time again from them, and I think that this one will not disappoint. Price-wise, it comes in at $4,200 worth every penny. It's a gorgeous bag. All right, guys, what did you think of my four fall 2022 trend picks? Am I on trend? Am I off trend? I Normally, I don't really consider myself a very trendy person. I just kind of do what I want. However, I think it's fun to kind of like look at what we're seeing on the runways and kind of like decide like, what are the designers showing us? Like, what are we going to be seeing a lot of here in the upcoming future? Well, in the next month or two, literally. And I think these four picks, they're going to get you through. They're gonna, you're gonna be on trend, you're gonna be in style. I picked some low end, well, if you consider 1600 low end, I picked some high end, 42, 4400. So there's a little bit here for everybody. Let me know, let me know down in the comments. Do you have any of these particularly on pre-order? Do you already have your YSL eye care toe? Like what's going on? What are you guys excited to carry this fall? I wanna hear it. So let me know down in the comments. And until next time, guys, Sunday. 99% chance that the wedding vlog is coming out on Sunday. Zane has all the files on his laptop, so he's getting that edited this week. I am super excited to share it with you. It was a beautiful day, wonderful weekend. So I'm excited for that to come out. And until then, you guys have a fantastic week. I hope you're all excited for fall and I will see you guys on Sunday. All right, bye-bye.